Today, today we're going to do lesson plan 15, grade 7, term 2, and the topic is increase and decrease percentages. Um, some teachers might do this as an assessment. You don't have to. Um, it can just be as all the other lessons. So this then links to the worksheet um, 41 in the DBE book. So let me quickly show you there. So that's 41. And then when we come back, um, this is then the link to the caps. And then I'm going to scroll down and we're going to look at the dictionary. So you're going to pause at the dictionary and what we're going to do is we're going to look at what increase percentage and decrease percentage means. So increase percentage means a positive percentage change. A percentage increase can be cal calculated using. So what we have is the increase value over the original value times 100. And then when we look at the decrease percentage, it's a negative percentage change. A percentage decrease can calculate it by the decrease in the value over the original value times 100. So this formula is we're going to use today then in to do our concept development. But before that, we're quickly going to do our 10 mental maths questions. So I want you to pause and quickly do the 10 questions. Welcome back. I'm going to reveal the answers and then you can mark it. Let's look then at today's um, activity. Firstly, is make sure you do understand what the word increase and decrease means. Um, and then the concept development, we're first going to look at the increase. So the question here is to calculate the percentage increase if the price of the bus ticket of 60 rands, 60 rand increased to 84. So what we first need to know is what is the amount increased. So what we're going to do is we take 84 minus 60. So we know that we're paying 24 rand more. But what is the percentage? So what you're going to do is you're going to say 24 over the original price. So you're going to say 24 over 60 and you're going to multiply it by 100. But what we're going to do is we're going to change the 100 into a fraction. So it's 100 divided by 1 or 1 over 100 and then we can multiply. So then what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to multiply the top two numbers 24 times 100 and the two bottom numbers 60 times 1 and we got 240 divided by 60 now again here very important to know your times tables because if you see that 6 can go in 24 yes 4 times but we still got the 0 left so it's 40 so there is a 40% increase now let's look at the decrease example so the calculate the percentage decrease if the price of petrol goes down from 20 cents a liter to 18 cents so first what we need to do is we need to calculate what was the amount decreased so we say 20 cents minus 80 cents will give me two cents so the amount decreased is two cents so now what we do is we write two over the original amount multiply by 100 if we do that we get 200 over 20 and then if we divide it we get 10 percent i want you to pause and go through these examples welcome back so what you're going to do is you're going to do the worksheet activities now then you're going to solve the problem then Please do these questions coming from previous exam or test papers. And then if you tick yeses here, all of them are yeses. You can carry on to the next lesson. If you have some no's, you need to revise, revisit some questions and concepts, or you need to contact us at SA Teacher.